It never ceases to amaze me the lengths that some politicians will go to twist reality to fit their narratives. Take the Zodiac Killer, a.k.a. Senator Ted Cruz, for instance. Recently, at a Senate committee subcommittee hearing, Cruz took the opportunity to criticize the Biden administration's move to reschedule cannabis from Schedule 1 to a Schedule 3 substance under the Controlled Substances Act. Now, old Canadian Texan Ted isn't criticizing Biden for not descheduling cannabis because he believes it should remain as a Schedule 1 drug with the worst of the worst. Now, Can Can Cancun Cruz claimed that rescheduling cannabis would lead to more vehicle accidents and fatalities, citing a 2022 study showing a 6.5% increase in injury crash rates and a 2.3% increase in fa fatal crash rates associated with the legalization of adult use cannabis from 20, uh, to, uh, 2009 to 2019. He's taking the typical fear-based tactics route and suggesting that rather than making our roads safer, that the evil Biden administration's actions would endanger families across America. Kind of like needing that border wall to protect Americans, but hey, let's not improve the construction just yet because God forbid Biden get credit for it. But here's the thing. Lion Ted in his typical fashion is being remarkably selective with his facts. For one, there are studies with findings that contradict his narrative. Take a 2023 report from the Canadian Institute of Actuaries and the Casualty, uh, Casualty Actuary Society using machine learning to analyze data from Canada and US from 2016 to 2019, the researchers found that while being high on cannabis does affect driving behavior, it might not be all bad. In fact, some cannabis users drove more cautiously when high using slower speeds and maintaining longer following distances. Imagine that, a more relaxed approach to driving rather than the aggressive tendencies often seen with alcohol. And let's not overlook the sheer hypocrisy in Felito's stance. Here's a man who loudly opposes any reduction in alcohol consumption guidelines. Just last year, during an interview with Newsmax, Cruz chugged a beer on camera, defying federal health officials' suggestion to limit alcohol intakes to two drinks per week. He said, if they want us to drink two beers a week, frankly, they can kiss my ass. Now, this is from a man who's up in arms about the supposed dangers of cannabis, which, by the way, hasn't caused any documented fatalities from driving stoned. Ted Schmooze's criticism didn't stop there. He lambasted liberals for wanting to control every damn aspect of your life, conveniently ignoring his party's efforts to restrict women's health care rights by overturning Roe vs. Wade. It's a classic case of calling the kettle black. The same man who rails against government, government overreach is all too happy to impose restrictions when it suits his political agenda. Now, meanwhile, Cruz expressed concern that rescheduling cannabis without clear guidelines for testing it uh, to its use could create confusion in safety-sensitive industries like trucking. Now, while it's fair to consider that the implications for, for workplace safety, it's worth noting that Cruz's own stance on state rights um, I lost my place. God damn it. State rights and cannabis regulation oh has been inconsistent. Sorry about that, y'all. Back in 2018, he said, I think it ought to be up to the states, allowing places like Colorado and Texas to decide their own policies, yet he can't seem to resist taking shots at federal moves to ease cannabis restrictions. Now, the Biden administration, on the other hand, has based its rescheduling decision on science and evidence, aiming to ease research restrictions around cannabis, particularly for treating chronic illnesses and pain. The proposed rescheduling is a step towards acknowledging the the medicinal benefits of cannabis, even if it doesn't fully legalize it. Now, one last point to ponder, Two-Faced Ted's rhetoric about protecting families on the road is hard to take seriously when he's so openly supportive of alcohol, which is responsible for over 13,000 deaths annually due to drunk driving, yet there's no call from him for stricter alcohol regulations. So there you have it. Senator Turd Cruz, ever the hypocrite, selectively cites data to stroke fear about cannabis while turning a blind eye to the proven dangers of alcohol and his own party's overreach. It's a masterclass in political doublespeak, if you ask me. I'm Stone Slade reporting for the Hyatt Nine News. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Poor Teddy. Poor Teddy Cruz. Or Teddy. Poor Teddy Cruz. What do you got to say about Ted? Come on. I mean, I, I like Ted. I like Ted overall. I, he, he is a constitutionalist, um, and that is that is really where he falls at. I do have him on video stating that, uh, that he, although he wouldn't vote for it, that if the people did vote for it, that he would 100% respect their wishes. So I do, I, you know, I, so, so from that, I, I, I totally respect him. Like his position is he, he's not a fan of cannabis or whatnot. And uh, ultimately we'll just work, keep working on him and getting him to evolve on the issue. Is this one of those things where, Go ahead, is he like just, is he just getting like a bunch of lobbyist money from some other interested anti-cannabis uh, group, maybe big alcohol, big pharma, something like that, where he's just uh, 
he's being forced to make these comments because they're cutting him a check or, or what's up with I, that? I, I don't think he's being forced to make these comments. Ted, Ted, Ted likes to uh, to definitely be in the limelight and have, have his voice heard in regards, especially on uh, controversial issues uh, that the federal government deals with. So. Do you think his More stance like- would be different if uh, if the Trump administration had done what the Biden administration does? Don't you think he'd probably be singing a different tune right now? No. No? No. Even like the border wall? Yeah, maybe like, he's- oh, my God, they're coming across the border. Let's build this wall. Oh, wait, not if Biden wants it. Let's wait until we see what he, happens after the election. Ted, Ted Cruz has stayed consistent that we need a wall throughout all of this. He actually voted down the bill that the Republicans put forward when when Trump uh, told them to. They're just remaining politically facile and and doing you know whatever wind blows them to do instead of actually delineating uh, and defining first principles and then acting from. Yeah, and shout out to Isaac Cruz out in the chat. He says, "I don't I don't support Ted on this issue. I like Ted too, but isn't right on everything." And I totally agree with that with that statement. He's not right about everything, but he is a constitutionalist. Hmm. which you can't say about a lot of these politicians because they just want to just rip up the Constitution and make it go away. I think Jason really does have the best weed in the world, you guys, because he lives in a hallucinatory reality. You're and I'd, I'd like you to send me at You're least funny. an ounce, please, Jason. <laughs> no problem, bro. No problem. I'll pay you $400 for an ounce of that shit, bro. I, too, want to think Ted Cruz you can't is a short solid, me, principled individual. You can't short me, like Matthew. that. You can't short me. It's $420 for the 420 I'm going to give you 500, Jay. Let's go. There we go. There you smoke this weed. and You think Trump is a genius? Let's fucking go. Trump's the greatest president America's ever had. That's what I'm saying, dude. That weed has got to be just terrific. (laughs) Let's go. (laughs) What do you think about this, Dr. T? Mr. Ted Cruz? I think the religious right groups have asked him to do this. That's fair. For some reason, they continue to battle cannabis. Um, and it's a losing battle. You know, I um, I, fi- I always find it interesting with the, the the religious groups battling cannabis because um, it's it's like it's like all the evangelicals they only live in the New Testament, and it's like the Old Testament is clearly states that all seed bearing plants are of this earth and to be used, and it's like they totally disavow the Old Testament and only try to just focus on the New Testament by saying obey the laws of the land. Well, th- you know they. They have selective facts that they choose, so it doesn't make sense I, ever. I, I just don't Wait. understand how 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 God created a plant, and then they're they're hating on the plant. They're hating on one of God's creations, and I just don't. I, I just find that hypocritical. Yes, that's a good word for that. Wait, are you saying that religion isn't based on a coherent logical system? <laughs> I don't know Bro. what you're saying, Matthew Saint Germain. I think you've ate too many caps today already. <laughs> Words. See, see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Love me some Ted Cruz, though, man. He's he is a strict constitutionalist. I'm a fan. Any last words on this Stone Slate? I got, no- I got nothing. You got nothing. Thanks, so I enjoy doing it. Ted Cruz, you do you. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yes, T- Ted Cruz. Shout out the man with a plan, the senator of Texas, the great red state of Texas. That's right. And on that, we're going to go to a commercial. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 